So very simple, okay? So get, get very simple, you know. Whenever we call the name, you come. So we make a little order to look good in the video. Shake my hand. Then I'll take the belt out. George, shake George's hand. Shake Chris's hand. Shake Jeff's hand. And then you come, whoever, to the person is so he can tie the belt. And man, I need to really decide here what I'm going to do. I look this spread out to the over here. This spread out to here. Do you want to start, George? Do you want to one? Sure. Um, well, I guess we'll start what blue then. Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to try. Listen, we're going to try to do all Jeff, George is blue, all Chris blue, all Jeff's blue, all blue, and then we move up to purple. If we come back, we probably forget somebody else who tries to accept. Right. <laughs> Luke. Hey, yeah. Thank you. 
Justin. Justin! Student, you thought you were getting a belt, and you're not calling you leave for today. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, Zach, I'm leaving. Zach,
off. <laughs> Before he gives you his heart. Hold on, I'll be up here with you. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> guys were on the they were on the fence man and, and you know we look for different things out of different people this guy right here he just showed remarkable improvement it's incredible Mike Flanagan yeah, yeah. Just for your advice, you guys don't want to get another, another belt blade or whatever, you're very welcome. You're very welcome to get any same frame color. you want. Same oh, color. same <laughs> color, please. That's... <laughs> 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 Excellent, excellent. 
because you never know, maybe you're going to be doing jiu-jitsu in a couple of years from now. And I was swimming to you and I laughed at him. I was like, you crazy me doing jiu-jitsu for my life? No way I want that life. Yeah. And here I am right now. You know what I'm saying? So you can be open and be like, man, what can I do? Well, I'll tell you what. As soon as you open up a little bit, it makes it much easier for us to share what we expect from you. Does everybody understand? As soon as you guys give trust, it's easy to give back. We try our best to, to guide, to guide, to guide, but you know, let's be goal-oriented. Goal-oriented, there is some. Okay? We're not done today for the bell. We have one more. Okay? Do you wanna, do you wanna talk or do you want me to talk? I'll talk. Talk. I'd, I'd love to talk too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can I go last no, one? You can go first. Because if I start, I'm not going to stop. I know myself. Go ahead. All right. You know, uh, I guess like Darth Vader, I don't use analogies for you guys. I told somebody that, that, uh, that yeah, it's not analogies, right? There's always somebody that's like, you know, you have a master, I wouldn't say a master, but you always have like a head guy, and then there's like his emissary, his like minion. You know, my Megamon, I got a young boy, and we watch Megamon constantly. And, and Megamon has minion, and minion's actually smarter than Megamon. I don't know if you ever watched this movie before, but he's actually smart. You know, if, if, if minion was given the keys to the castle, he probably wouldn't get screwed up this whole, if you haven't seen this movie, it's awesome, by the way, it's a cartoon movie. It's a cartoon movie, all right, so bear with me. But anyway, minion's smart, but he plays dumb half the time, and just to make Megamon look good. Well, I have my own minion. Right, and he's been with me a long time, and it's time for him to put on a brown belt, and that's Bob Gibson. Yeah! Oh. So, you know, in some way, you know, 
change, change. It may not that they change our life. That attitude, the attitude of coming to the mat and drive, it doesn't matter how much rain. If there is not one day that he is here, 10 or 5, it's every single day, 9.30 to 9.45. Some days we go like, hey, we're going to train at 9. Is near nine. It's like an hour, probably an hour and 15, an hour and a half <coughs> to get here. Sometimes get here after an hour and half going back and he gets three rows. Three rows. And the rest is like, man, I'm here not just to work out. I'm here to learn. It's amazing how the attitude is towards the learning. Always towards the learning, you know, and, 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 and that's very good. I, I wanna thank you, Bob, it's very, it really, that kind of attitude, and I, I'm very like, oh, whatever, I do that later. I wouldn't be doing it. I'll tell you, whoever is from Jeff right now, most likely, we wouldn't be here, man, if it was not for that kind of attitude. And I'm not joking. And, and I see the impact that's on me, you know, and I, it's like, I, the reason I'm saying that is not like, oh my God, how good it is. It's like, no, you guys can do the same. Discipline, discipline, discipline. Set the goals. Set the goals of let's move forward, okay? The next, next belt ceremony will be uh, next spring, you know, so keep pushing forward. I'm telling you guys. It was a lot, a lot of people that were like bored, bored to get. And we sat down, Jeff, Chris, George, and myself, we got like, I mean, that guy can give a little bit more. That guy can give a little bit more. It's not a coincidence, and I'm gonna just say some names here. It's not a, Pedro is at the gym two hours a week every single day. Doesn't miss a class. Doesn't miss a class. Tony, today I'm here, I'm gonna watch, I can't train today. This hurts, but it's on the map. Same thing with yours. And I'm gonna say some names where it, it goes to everybody. Brian, there is not one choosing Thursday that Brian is not here. There is not one choosing Thursday that he's not here. It all starts with setting goals and be disciplined. You know, be disciplined to that. You know, so let's, let's keep pushing. It will be a great, a phenomenal year for a lot of us. You know, a lot of us. You know, it, 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 it just changed my life. And it's not because of my job, guys. You know, it's, it's easy to say, oh, it's because it's your job. No, it's not. Reality is here. Jiu-Jitsu changed my life so much. Jiu-Jitsu changed my life so much. Helped me become so much a better person that I was like, man, that's what I want for life. It's not for Jiu-Jitsu. It's not what is Jiu-Jitsu. It's what Jiu-Jitsu can do for my life. And I'm sure, you know, each one have their own personal call and purpose. But it's somewhere or the other, you know, it can do the same. Also on that note, it, you know, you do have those guys that come to the gym every time they get a waking up. And it may be five days a week, we talked about that. But there's some that come once a week, twice a week, as best they can. But here's the thing, is they, I'm not saying you have to obsess about it, but they really do a lot of introspection the whole time. It's like, how can I get better? What am I doing differently? What demons am I slaying on this mat? Because we all know, if you've been in jiu-jitsu long enough, you understand you're not grappling with the guy sitting in front of you. You're grappling with yourself. You're grappling with your own ego. You're grappling with your own insecurities. You're grappling with all those things. And there, you know, I promote based on a lot of factors, and that's one huge one. What kind of person are you becoming? Are you becoming a tapping machine? Well, that's great, dude. Go to a submission wrestling school or something. That's awesome. You know, jiu-jitsu is more of that to me. And that's, that's how I gauge people. That, you know, that's, it could be a guy coming six days a week. He's got a bad attitude. I don't care if you come in six days a week. Good. That's awesome. But a guy's busting his butt. He, he turns down jobs, and he looks at his life according to how he can fit this in because it's a huge part of his life. Does that kind of make sense? Crazy, uh, 
It's always very quiet. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. For everybody that got a blue belt, it's a very. Uh, um, I remember when Andy and I we got our blue belts together, and it was we're kind of like, do we really deserve a blue belt right now? But uh, you, you know, the, all the instructors he gave it to you, it's like um, Jeff just said. Uh, there are a lot of factors that got you know thought of, and uh, you guys got a blue belt not because you can tap all the white belts in your gym. And the stress is just beginning now. You guys have to be the white belt. That's in your mind, but that's the thing you just said. That, you know, you have to kind of check your ego at the door. It's not really about beating everybody underneath you, because uh, we would all be dead from stress, you know, rolling with a few of you guys. But this is the time where you need to take it to the next level. Um, this is when it gets fun for shit. So you start harnessing and creating your own game, um, thinking about what you can do to get better. Uh, so everybody that got a blue belt, you know, have fun. This is this is where it, uh, you start separating yourself from a career jiu-jitsu uh, player to somebody that's doing it as a hobby. So you can take it to the next level or uh, kind of fizzle away. Make sure you guys keep sticking with it. Thanks. Jeff, any thoughts? Um, very fortunate to be here. I've been doing jiu-jitsu martial arts for about 18 years, since 1992, September, I think. I have stopped training. And uh, I've trained a lot of you guys. I've never met anyone like it. So, um, I did a lot of good things, a lot of bad things, but I know this is the right, this is the right road, it's the right path, right? And if you, if you put the hard work in, your kids will get better because mine is. And I'm a smirk. So. <laughs> Very good. 